hello and welcome to the channel in this video we'll draw the simple model in FreeCAD using basic tools of art design or bench and sketch or bench okay so first here we need to create a new document to do that to click in this icon here or choose file or and select new and now we need to change our bench so click here and select part design or bench and next here we need to create any body click here and now create any sketch select YZ plane for this sketch here okay and now what we'll draw in this sketch here will be a section so let's go to the string page if you like the content I have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing Koi-Fi site Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. Here we'll draw a section. We'll draw this with all these parts here and this pocket here. So, okay, let's go. So, here in the sketch workbench, go to sketch geometers and select this tool here, polyline tool. And draw the sketch in this way. Draw this vertical line and this horizontal line, this vertical line and this horizontal line and also select this arc tool click here in this line, this vertical line and now draw the arc in these two points okay and now we have the sketch so next here we will question the dimensions of this sketch here so let's go to this string page and here we can see these dimensions so here we have this distance between the center point to this line here 140 and we have 10 for this line here so let's set these dimensions so first here we'll select this vertical distance tool click in this line here and we'll set the length of 10 and now we'll set the distance between this point here and this point here we'll set 140 okay and now we have two degrees of freedom so we have to set the length of this line here and the range of this arc so first here we'll select this tool here and we'll set the range of this arc here we'll set 200 for this arc here so click in this arc and set 200 okay and now we have this and next drag this point here okay and select this line here and we'll set the length of for this line here we have these radius here the difference between these these two dimensions is 16 so for this line here we'll set the length of 16 okay and now we have this so next here leave the sketch press home and go to this tool here revolution press home again and you can save the model in this way so now click OK and now we have this as you can see so what we'll do next here next we'll create these two cylinders okay so let's come back and here we create a new sketch in XY plane okay and now switch to section view click on this icon here and go to sketch geometers and here select this cycle tool draw this first cycle in this origin point and now the second cycle in this vertical line and as you can see for these two cycles we have the same diameter 55 okay and the distance between these two cycles is 75 so let's do that First here we'll select these two cycles and we'll set equal constraint, okay? And now we'll set the diameter of these cycles to 55, okay? And now we'll set the distance between these two center points. So select this vertical distance tool, select these two center points and here we'll set 75, okay? And now we have this as you can see. So now leave this sketch and select this pad tool so we'll extrude these cycles so the length here will set we'll set a length of 7 for this pad here so change here to 7 and now click ok and as you can see now we have these two cylinders 
okay and next here we'll create these three parts okay so let's go back and here we'll select this face here and create a new sketch okay from this face and now here we just select this rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle okay or we can use centered rectangle so click in this arrow here and select centered rectangle tool and click in this horizontal line and now click in this vertical line and as you can see now we have this and next here we'll set the dimensions of this rectangle okay so here we can see 120 and 25 so let's go back and as you can see here we have two degrees of freedom so it's it means that we have to set the length of this line here and the length of this line here so here we'll select this constraint distance tool okay and for this line here we set 25 and for this line here we set 120 and now we just leave the sketch and select this path tool here and first here we'll set reverse it and we go to type and here we change to up to face and here we'll select this face here and now click ok and now here we'll create these three parts so what to do we go to model and here we'll select this pad here and we go to polar pattern tool okay and here first we change the number of occurrence to three okay and as you can see now we have this so it's okay now click okay and next here we'll do this fillet here so let's see the mission here we have a range of 20 okay so here first we select this edge here and we go to the fillet tool and here we change the rate to 20 and now click in this add button and add these two edges of these two parts and now click ok and as you can see now we have this ok and next here we'll create these parts here with these pockets so here first we select this we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face okay and and here we'll create we'll just a cylinder here in this point so first here select this external jump tool and, and extract this edge here and switch to section view and now select this cycle tool and draw this cycle and now here we'll constrain this point to this cycle so select this point here and now this cycle and now this constraint here and as you can see now we have this and next here we'll set the diameter of the cycle okay so here in this top view we can see a range of 20 for this arc here so the diameter of this cycle will be 40 so select this constraint here and now the cycle and set the diameter okay and now leave the sketch and here select this pad tool set reverse it and the value of this pad will be 10 millimeters it's okay so now click ok and now again select this face here and create a new sketch and here we'll extract this edge here so select this tool and extract this edge and select this cycle tool and draw this cycle so we'll use this cycle here to create a hole here so here we'll constrain the diameter of this cycle to 20 so click in this cycle and set the diameter and now leave this sketch okay and select this pocket tool here and change the tab to toggle and as you can see now we have a hole here and uh, now click ok and next here we'll do these fillets here okay so here first we select we select these we can select this edge here 
okay and now select this tool here fillet tool and we'll change the radius here to 20 millimeters so change here and now click add and now we'll add this edge so select this edge here and now click ok and now press home and as you can see now we have this part here this hole and these fillets here so now we go to model and first here we select this pad operation next this pocket and now this fillet and now we go to polar pattern tool okay and what we'll do here first here we'll change the number of occurrence to six as you can see here we change here and and it's okay so now we click okay okay and what we'll do next here next here we'll create this we'll create this pocket here okay so what we do here here we create a new sketch in yz plane uh, and now switch to section view and here we'll do lines and arc here so first here select this arc tool and now click in this vertical line and draw this arc here and now select this line tool and draw this line as you can see okay and now here we have to set the dimension of this sketch here okay so first here we'll set the distance here between this point to this origin point so we know the distance here so we can select this tool here and select these two points and the distance here is 100 foot okay and next here we'll set the edge of this arc here so let's go to this drawing page and here we see this dimension here a range of 195 okay so select this tool and set the range of this arc here okay and now here we'll leave this sketch and what you'll do next to create this pocket here what you do we go to the groove tool okay and as you can see now we have this okay so click OK and next here we'll create holes here next here we'll do these extrude operations here so what we'll do here we go to model and if you click in this pad here we can see these two cylinders so what we do here here we click in this arrow and we copy this sketch here okay just copy this sketch and okay and now pass this sketch here okay and and now here we'll drag this sketch into this body here and spacebar to make this sketch visible and now we'll make this less operation here visible spacebar and as you you can see this and next here we'll change the attachment of this sketch here so select this sketch first and then click on mouse and go to attachment editor and click on this button here and now select this face and here you see this okay so to place this cycle here in this face here we go here and here in the attachment mode we select inertia okay and now click OK and now as you can see we have this so select this sketch and go to the pad tool okay and first here we'll set reverse it and we'll set a length of 50 this dimension here okay and as you can see now we have these parts here so click OK and and now here we'll, we'll make a cut in this cylinder here so what to do select this face here and now select this pocket tool and change the length here to we'll change to 25 the half of this dimension here 
and click OK. And now, as you can see, we have this. And next, here we'll create these holes and these and these chamfer operations. So what to do? Select these two face here and go. And now select this hole tool. And as you can see, now we have these two holes here. So here we have to change here. Let's set triangle and now let's change this diameter to 35. OK, and you can see this. So now click OK and next here we'll do chamfer operations here in these edges. So first select this edge here and go to the chamfer tool. And here we'll change the size to 4 millimeters. Okay, and now click in this add button and add this edge here and now click OK. And now we have this. Okay, if we press home, you can see this part in this way. Okay, and as you can see, we finished the design of this model. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you.